so thanks for checking out this video. Today I'm looking at Dreamcast through RetroBat. So first thing I'm going to ask you to do is just hit notifications so you don't miss any of my content up and coming on RetroBat, RetroArch, LaunchBox, Batacera. I cover a wide range nowadays. And also remember to subscribe if you like this video. So let's get all this. So Dreamcast 128-bit console by Sega, which monumentally failed. And it's a shame. It's by far one of the best uh, Sega consoles out there. And it was well ahead, even leap years ahead of things like the PlayStation 1 at the time. So let's first of all go to Back GUI, which I always recommend. And if I go to system list, now I've had a lot of people, in fact, a couple of people uh, comment on this segment of my videos uh, that you don't see anything pop up when you hit on system. So if that's your case, uh, you need to uninstall Retrobat and reinstall it and also make sure that you install the DirectX all-in-one pack. So what we're going to do once we go to system is just scroll down as always and we're going to find Dreamcast. And under extensions here, this is all your extension files that Retrobat is going to accept. So I've extracted and I put my Four Wheel Thunder Dreamcast game into a .chd extension. And as we can see here, this is recommended. So let's close this down. And what I'm going to do next is open up the directory for Retrobat. So on your shortcut, just open file location by right clicking on that shortcut. And that's going to take us into where everything for Retrobat is. So first of all, we're going to need a BIOS for Sega Dreamcast. So if we just go into the BIOS subfolder here, you're going to find a subfolder within that subfolder titled DC. This is your Dreamcast folder. And we're going to put our BIOS files inside here. So extract from your console and get the .bin and .zip. So we need a DC underscore boot dot bin, a DC underscore flash dot bin, and simply a DC dot zip. So once you've done these, just drag them inside of that DC subfolder. And also make sure to copy these because what I'm going to do is go out of here and I'm also going to copy the same BIOS files here. So you've now got three of these BIOS files here and you've also got the same three boss valves inside of this dc folder next thing we're going to want to do is go into the roms folder and this is where we're going to find where to put your dreamcast files the actual game size so just scroll down up until you get the dreamcast and from here just simply drag your file inside of here and that's it, we're pretty much good to go. So let's open up Retrobat. Okay, so once you put your BIOS files in place and your games in your ROM folder, you will now see your Dreamcast logo appear as we can see. So let's open up this game and I put everything back to default to show you how this is gonna look. And I'm also gonna show you how to enhance this and get those games looking amazing. So as we can see from that, that's likely the closest you're going to get to a real Dreamcast. So what we're going to do is now enhance those video settings to make it look even better. You also notice that I've got a bezel for this to obscure the black bars, which you often see on the side of the screen. So let's go into the video settings. And if I press select on my controller, this will bring up view options or whatever button you use to get into view options. This is where you need to be. Advanced system options. If we go to shader set to enhance this, I'm going to use enhanced. Now, decorations is where a minute ago we seen that Dreamcast. So if you don't want this, then select none. And just remember, if you're planning on using one of those decorations, make sure your game aspect ratio is put on to 4x3. If you leave this at 16x9, your game is going to be obscured. And like I say, just leave it to 4x3 if you're using a decoration or a bezel. So anyway, getting on with this, I'm going to put this to 16x9. Integer scaling, I'm going to turn to on. And this is going to really boost up how the game looks. 
Vertical sync, I always, always, always say yes on this because this eliminates any screen territory in our games, and that's very common on 3D games. Next thing is internal resolution. Now, internal resolution is stuck to auto at the moment, so that's going to be picking up 320 by 240, which is a very low resolution. If you've got a computer which has got some good hardware in it, then you can bump this right up to 2560 by 920p, and that's going to really make the game look awesome. Awesome. Next up, we're going to go down to visual rendering and we're going to enable smooth games by linear filtering. And again, this is going to boost up how the game looks. So turn this to on. Widescreen cheats, I'm going to put to yes and widescreen hacks to give it yes. So we've enabled 16 by 9, but that's going to give us a stretch image by enabling widescreen hacks in widescreen cheats. This is going to put in place a special feature, which is going to give you a true widescreen image rather than a stretched. Now, texture enhancements. Again, if your computer has got some good hardware, a good GPU and a good CPU, then turn this to six times. So that's going to make our textures look very defined. Anistrophic filtering is an option you use to get rid of those jagged edges. So once again, if your computer has got some good hardware, turn this right up to 16 times. And just scroll down the drivers. Now, sometimes some Dreamcast games won't boot where others will. Uh, one of the common problems with this is under the video drivers setting. So by default, this one's going to be open it with OpenGL. So it's kind of like a cross between OpenGL and Vulkan. So one of those are going to likely clear up that game, which isn't booting up for you. But I'm going to leave this one to all over this. So let's actually go back into the game and see how it looks now. As we can see from that, it looks awesome. It really looks amazing. So let's not forget to scrape artwork. So to do this, just go down to main menu, scraper, and I'm going to just scrape the artwork in the preview video for this game. And of course, once that's finished scraping, it's going to ask us to go to game settings and update game list. Press yes. And that's it. So that's it for my Dreamcast and Retrobat setup guide today. I hope it helps you well. If you've not yet checked out yesterday's Batacera setup guide, I recommend you checking that. If you're a fan of Retrobat, then you're going to love Batacera by far. Also, check me out on social media. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. And just to remind you, I've now got a membership option where you can join and I can make you customized videos and special members videos. So anyway, until next time, stay retro. Thank you.